Disneyland is your land. Here age relives fond memories of the past. And here you may savor the challenge and promise of the future. I first visited what would become Disneyland in 1948. I was seven years old and absolutely enamored with Donald Duck. To be able to see it before most other kids, well, it felt like you won the lottery. I just wished we'd all survived. As soon as you entered the park, you were greeted by a drunk Frenchman claiming he was Donald Duck. He was dressed in a fighter pilot uniform from World War II. Didn't look a thing like Donald Duck. He had a flask in his hand, and if you wanted to enter the park, you had to take a big swig. That French duck man made sure we were drunk before we even went on a single ride. The rides weren't safe, they just weren't. When you got to the top of Splash Mountain, you just fell. If there was any splash at all, it was certainly coming from your own blood. I remember being excited for Pirates of the Caribbean. You got a real gun to shoot the pirates with. Us kids were safe, but the pirates were goners. I mean, they weren't real pirates, they were actors, but we didn't realize that as kids. Back in those days, you saw a pirate, you shot a pirate. End of story. We didn't know, we were just kids. Just scared kids. I have no regrets. It's a Small World was much sparser than it is now. Every room had animatronic children representing different countries, but they were all just playing trombones. It was so loud, I went deaf in my right ear. At one point, it got to be too much for me, so I grabbed one of the trombones out of an Australian child's hands, and he just started screaming. The words he screamed that day became the lyrics to the It's a Small World song we know today. Walt Disney himself spent most of his time attempting to invent Dippin' Dots. He would wander around getting kids to try his new recipes. He wouldn't force you, but you felt bad saying no because he was so excited to see you eat his rocks covered in ice cream or sticks inside of snowballs. The closest he got to Dippin' Dots was a Choco Taco filled with silica beads. Sadly, that had an 85% fatality rate with us youngsters. A bunch of us contracted polio in Tomorrowland. Disney thought the future was full of polio, and he was right about that, at least when it came to us. Even with all of that, though, I'm glad I went to the park. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been branded. Ultimately, I think Disney was right to burn down that first park. It was the only way to kill the polio. I just hope Donald Duck got out alive. <laughs> <laughs>